First off, look at that view, beautiful. So we are in New Hampshire and we are getting ready to tour an absolutely stunning natural elements home. So take that in for a second and I'll tell you all about it. The amount of nuggets, the little goodies inside of this home is over the top, like it's stunning. So again, this is by Natural Element Homes. It is the Windy Mountain Lodge. It has five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, two half baths, and they even have an amazing wine room downstairs. I think you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Just so much going on inside of this home. Check out this siding right here. This is called Burnt Cypress. I've never seen this before on a house, and it looks, <laughs> it looks amazing. I love it. Super unique looking. I mean, wait until this thing's got grass everywhere. It is wild. So the one thing that they did different on the exterior of the home, other than the siding, and it'll probably be easier once we get around to the side over here, is that they didn't go with any trim around the windows. The siding butts straight up to it, and it just looks so sleek and so cool, and it fits perfectly with the overall aesthetics in the home, which is uber modern. Like, you have ultra modern, then you have uber modern. And this home, it's got it. But massive windows here, huge dining room, and then you do have this beautiful balcony right off of your main living room. Now this home, it is, I know I'm gonna be talking a lot in this one, there's a lot to say. The main living space is upstairs. It does have a basement. The basement is decked out. I mean, to the nines, and then it, again, it has that little loft area over the top of the garage. And then back here with this amazing view, this patio right here is heated. So on these cold New Hampshire winters with all this snow, you don't have to worry about shoveling it. It melts, you can walk right out your back door into your jacuzzi and enjoy this almost 180 degree view of these mountains. I mean, that's worth the price of admission right there. Anyway, I'm super thankful for the opportunity to be able to come out here and share this home with you guys. Uh, everybody at Natural Element Homes and the owners that allowed us to come look at this, super grateful for that. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I have, uh, I've been a big fan of Natural Element Homes ever since we toured the one in Tennessee. This thing is like three or four times the size of it. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get up here onto the front porch. Now you do have Another porch over here too, uh, right next to your garage. And that leads into like your mud room and laundry room and everything, which is really cool. But we'll go ahead and get in here and check this out. Now this home is a hybrid, which means that it is constructed with conventional framing and then it has timber frame accents going throughout the home. And this one even has some exposed steel beams, which is super cool. But really nice entryway right here. Love these doors. And without further ado, let's get inside. All right, so when you first walk in, this is the view that you were greeted with, and it is breathtaking. I mean, absolutely amazing. Now, let me go ahead and turn you around, let you check out your entryway real quick, and then we'll get into all of the goodness that this home has to offer. Huge chandeliers up here, beautiful modern front doors. Love the light wood color in here. Now, this home is controlled in every room by different light fixtures. Very sleek, very modern looking. I like it. So from where we're at right now, you have your living room, your kitchen, and your dining room. And then to the left, we have the master suite, and then several other rooms to the right. But just so you're oriented a little bit, 
you have your fireplace, real wood burning fireplace. And this is what is referred to as a guillotine fireplace, which is super cool. You have the screen right here, which can be down on its own. And then back behind that, you have a glass screen. So if you wanted the heat to kind of radiate out and have this open flame, you could. And if you wanted it closed behind glass, you could do that also. And then you have a nice place to put your wood on this side, huge hearth, just gigantic slab of stone right there. Wow. Vaulted ceilings, recessed lights. Absolutely massive living room, just feels amazing. And in here you have your sliding glass doors, which open all the way up and when they are opened you do have a screen that pulls out on either side meeting in the middle that way you can leave these doors open still catch the breeze through the home and not worry about the bugs but we'll go ahead and head outside real quick onto the porch before we move any further and again you do have this very big spacious porch up here that overlooks your patio down on the ground level and your jacuzzi your view from up here you have windows just coming all the way around and then you do have another set of sliding glass doors that come out of the master bedroom and you have kind of a nice little quiet area over there to relax outside of that room also this is dream home material Coming back inside, we will start working our way into the kitchen. Massive island right here. Actually, almost like a, just a full-on table of sorts. You got the marble countertops right here, plenty of space on either side. And then you also have some giant drawers over here. Now, since this is someone's home, I'm not gonna rummage through all their drawers. We can just kind of look at the features and imagine them. On the other side, you have another island and you have these really cool accent lights right up underneath of the counters. Again, plenty of drawers on this side. I love the dark countertops. I think they look amazing. <laughs> and then again, Plenty of drawers over here too. Sure, one of these is a dishwasher. Nice stainless sink. And then your view into the living room. Again, you have some of the beams in here. Also, the wood beams. And then you have your big steel beam right there. I love how it's exposed. I think that looks super cool. And then back behind us, you have, again, this marble backsplash. You have a pot filler. This is where your range hood would be. Like I said, there's still a couple pieces that are uh, waiting to be finished. Double ovens right here. And then I'm not gonna show you inside of this, but this is their refrigerator. And how cool is that? Opens up just by pressing it. I think that is neat. And then you have a wet bar off of that you have your wine fridge down here and yo this thing right here it is cute the thing downstairs <laughs> it is oh my gosh it is crazy so again your sink beautiful glass display cabinets a water filter your microwave and then this i think this is your dishwasher and then uh uh, ice machine over here also. All right, so let's go to the dining room real quick and then there's actually a room back here. We'll hit it up on this side before we go and progress further. So into your dining room, vaulted ceiling right here, windows all the way around. And look at this light fixture. You're gonna find that this home has some of the coolest light fixtures that I've personally ever seen. 
But anyway, I, I think they're really cool looking. Great big table in here. And there's just everywhere you go in this home, there are just views upon views upon views. I can't get enough of it. All right. So from here, coming off of the kitchen in the dining room, you do have another private balcony. If you wanted to walk out there after dinner or something, enjoy a nice quiet glass of wine. And then you have a little media area over here if you wanted to use it for that. And then some more shelves, cabinets. Now, do you see the doors right here? This is how all of the doors are gonna be throughout the home. Nice and flush, no trim around them. Really cool looking. But it opens up into the first of the bedrooms that we're going to be walking through. And again, views. Wow. I know, they probably need someone like HGTV touring this thing with some nice slow-mo shots walking through the, the doors and everything, but you got me. <laughs> anyway, no. This is, uh, I, this is my favorite part about the job. Just getting to come through some of these absolutely unique homes. Super cool. This is your walk-in closet in here. Very nice, plenty of built-ins. You have a pocket door right here. In this place, I mean, it just keeps going. And then another pocket door that leads into your first full bathroom. You have a floating vanity right here. Two really cool sinks. And then check out those vanity lights. Those are a little different. And then next to that, you do have a walk-in shower with tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. Great big shower head right there. And then you also have a nice removal shower head. And then coming around the partition wall, you've got a nice floating shelf and then your toilet. Coming out of this room, we're gonna go back to the other side of the kitchen where we have a hallway right here. But before we even really get started, you have a barn door right here that leads into your pantry, beautiful wood shelves, some dishwashers in here, just cabinets everywhere, some more floating shelves towards the back, huge pantry. And then continuing down the hallway, this is where the porch was the secondary porch that we saw on the front of the house. Uh, it is over here. Nice light fixture right here. Check out this laundry room. So double stacked washer and dryers, super cool. Plenty of shelving and cabinets. And then you have windows, your doors. And then this door right here, leads out into your garage. We're not gonna go in there, but I'm sure you know what a two car garage is. And if you don't, I'll point you towards a home that does have one after this, obviously. So, and then you just have some more storage space over here too. <laughs> this, this home just keeps going. And we haven't even begun to touch the surface your first half bath. I mean, look at that tile. So beautiful green, almost like an emerald color. This nice herringbone all the way up to the ceiling. Beautiful pendant lights. Almost like a cool steel, I don't even know, sink, interesting. And then back behind that, you do have your toilet. All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna start getting into, getting into some cool stuff. So up above the garage, one, you have these accent lights coming up the stairs. Look at the ceiling up here. Wow. So this is, 
the bonus space area up over the top of your garage. You do have some storage space right here. Again, I love how it's kind of just flush with everything. And then you have another one in between these two sets of bunk beds. So pretty cool how they set this up. Kind of like a mountain retreat with the bunk beds and everything. And like the perfect area for some kids to just kind of hang out. Got a little TV up here. And then you also have a full bath, floating vanity with your sink, mirror, and then you have your toilet, and then you have a walk-in shower up here. Again, with the tile just all the way around it, tiled shower tray. And then next to that, you do have a linen closet, kind of open, which is cool. And then you also have a door right here uh, that leads into a closed off bedroom. You also have this door right here that leads into the same bedroom. And this is the bedroom that had that private balcony that we saw from the ground. I mean, just beautiful. And then you have the double closet doors over here. Reset lights. I am, I'm digging the ceiling now. And you'd think that'd be my favorite part, but it's not. And then I wanted to point this out too, coming back down the stairs, you do have a little access door right here for a little bit more storage if you wanted it. And then we're gonna go back across the house before we go downstairs, I'm gonna show you the master bedroom. All right, the master suite, y'all, this thing is ridiculous. So right as you walk in to the left, you have your master bathroom. And is that not straight from a magazine? I mean, Beautiful, the light fixture up above the tub. We're gonna get a little bit closer look here in a second. So you do have uh, floating vanities on either side with these raised sinks, lighting within your mirrors. You have one on either side. And then in here also, you do have your two closets. And then a nice towel holder right here. But this tub, so concrete tub, absolutely beautiful. Nice big bowl in there. And then I love the rocks down here along the base. Really nice, you have your normal faucet and then you have a removable faucet. And the cool thing that they went with in here is a nice towel warmer. And then you have this huge, fully tiled shower. So big shower head, removable shower head. <laughs> oh. And then again, I, I'm sure you saw it, but I'll turn you around real quick. It's in here also, so vaulted ceilings with the really cool wood and then into the master bedroom. Golly. Again, you can go out onto that back porch over there, just kind of hang out this thing. <laughs> Love it. So great big room in here. I'm a super fan. Now down the stairs we go. And if you notice, you see this cool red light glowing from up underneath of the stairs. Well, you're just gonna have to wait to see why. <laughs> All right, so once we get down here, um, 
We're going to go around the perimeter real quick, and then I'm going to turn you around and show you back in the opposite direction. I mean, this place is, oh my goodness. So second half bath down here, you have your toilet. Uh, I mean, really cool looking accent wall, not even an accent wall. This thing goes all the way around. And then you have your floating sink. I mean, super textured, like really nice. All right. Now this home has two mechanical rooms and this controls all of the lighting systems throughout the home, which has like different moods and just controls everything. You got water heaters, you have your HVAC system, and this is just one of them. So anyway, I, for those of you that enjoy that type of stuff, I just kind of wanted to point that out to you. Right next to that, you have what they are currently using as like a, a theater room, which is pretty neat. And again, I mean, you cannot go anywhere in this house without some type of just jaw-dropping view. But really cool. <laughs> I mean, everybody loves a theater room, I think. All right, I'll let you catch a little bit of a glimpse of it. You can see the light and the stairs, the fireplace over there. It's coming. And then into, I don't even know what bedroom this is, but let's go ahead and start with this because I know y'all are gonna dig this. This is your walk-in closet. You have a makeup vanity in here. All the built-ins. Shelves everywhere. Really cool. And then this does have its own ensuite also. I'm gonna show you another one in just a minute that's pretty much identical to it. But this is this bedroom. Again, another cool light fixture and then these windows. All right, let's get to it. So first off, you have another kind of den area. Just a nice space to lounge around. Gas fireplace down here. Access out onto your back patio and that hot tub. That fireplace. Man, that thing feels warm. Really good looking. They even brought the exposed steel beams down here also. And then you have this wine cellar humidifier. And this thing is cool. Um, it has a mood toggle button and it changes colors. And if you can see the stairs over there, the stairs change colors with it. So you just press the little mood toggle button right here and that thing just keeps on churning. So we're going to pop our heads in here real quick just to kind of catch a glimpse of what all is going on. Beautiful light fixture over the top of this tasting table, which is just a giant piece of rock. Really cool looking. And then just wine racks everywhere so very very beautiful very nicely done i think too and then coming all the way down here you do have your second maintenance room water filtration systems all types of fun stuff happening in here and then into the, I believe this is the last bedroom. So like I was telling you earlier about that other shower or bathroom that we didn't go into, this is kind of what it looked like. It was just oriented a little bit different. You do have this zero threshold shower, which is cool. And then you do have a rainfall shower head up here with four different heads, your removable shower head, and then a tile surround that just is all over the place and then you also have your floating vanity 
with your sink and then back in the corner you have your toilet and then into this bedroom which is again <laughs> wow i love the lights over the top on either side of the bed and then that nice dark accent wall right there again stellar views and into this closet again another just wow closet Ooh, and this carpet is so comfortable all right let me know what you think about this home down in the comments i absolutely loved the heck out of it Thank you to Natural Element Homes for hooking us up. Thank you for the owner for allowing us to come through this home. And thank you guys for being here. If you want any more information about Natural Element Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com and check out some more information over there. As always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. My name is Timothy, and I will see your beautiful face in the next one.